Our supercharged twin turbo finally fires new diff covers for Ford trucks and badass Gale Banks marine engines still make big power 40 years later. I'm wearing a Banks shirt from the 90s this week on the Banks Insider. It's September 2020, not 1992, so I'm gonna change. That feels more like 2020. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook feed so you're always in the know. First up, we're giving away two Pedal Monster throttle boosters. One for you and one for a friend. You son of a bitch. All you have to do is tell us what car or truck you drive and tag a friend who you think needs one. We'll choose a winner Monday morning. Leave the info in the comments down below. In this week's R&D update, testing on the supercharged twin turbo stroked Duramax continues as we push the engine toward 1,000 horsepower. We've seen some issues with the design and they need to be addressed. One such area is the blower's drive assembly. It's flexing. I'm not talking about Arnold flexing. We're also experiencing some belt stretch. Good news is that Eric, one of our fabricator engineers, is reinforcing the drive plate so it'll take care of that flex. Meanwhile, Dustin Whipple of Whipple Superchargers fame sent us a custom marine spring-loaded tensioner that'll hold the three-inch wide drive belt taut above 5,000 RPM. With the front drive assembly shored up, we should be able to blast past 1,000 horsepower. And to be honest, I think Gale's new target may be upwards of 2,000, yes. 2,000 horsepower. He'll be shooting a new video shortly. Two Guys Garage, you know, the dudes that show you how to install everything and anything. Currently, you can find their show on the Motor Trend channel. Host Kevin Bird and Willie B also have a podcast by the same name. They posted the first of a two-part interview with Gail Banks recently. As you know, Gail is a great storyteller and packs the hour-long podcast with interesting anecdotes. Get the latest episode of Two Guys Garage wherever you download your podcasts. In our Pedal Monster Story segment, we check in with Dennis Piccolo and see just what he thinks of the new throttle booster. When we heard he had good things to say about the module, we never expected to get such enthusiasm. Dennis had done his fair share of research on throttle sensitivity controllers for his 2020 Camaro LT1, and while there were a lot of things that didn't look right to him about the competition, he didn't have the same concerns about the Banks Pedal Monster. Some of them seem like workarounds, not secure at all. I don't like the things where you have to hold down a button and do something else worth doing something. I just, it was a mess. So he arrived at the Pedal Monster. It was so slick from installation to usage. It's been absolutely great. I've done some other mods to the car, but nothing really improved it more than incrementally. I have an exhaust, a port of throttle body, an intake, but none of it was like a big bang for your buck kind of thing. It wasn't until I put the Pedal Monster on that I got the full realization of what that stuff did. It really brought the car to life because before it was just like I put my foot on a wet sponge. He says I'm currently running it at the top of the sport setting and I love the response. And what type of transmission does Dennis's Camaro have? I don't know. <laughs> Come on now, a car like this has to be a manual transmission, scream Dennis! From Silverado's to Nissan Maximus, Pedal Monster Throttle Booster is available for hundreds of cars and trucks. For our fan focus, we talked to Alexi at Boost Power in Newberry Park, California. Gale Banks Marine Engines are legendary, winning championship boat races and having the reputation for not only being powerful, but super reliable. It's been years since the last marine engine rolled out of the shop here at Banks, but engines are still being used all around the world, and one such place that actively services these trusty Gale Banks engines is Boost Power. Alexi, the owner, is a longtime fan of Banks, having an 89 Camaro in his youth that just happened to have a Banks twin turbo small block. That's where it all started for me, said Alexi. I later took the carburetor off and converted it to fuel injection. I love the setup. So Alexi went from cars to boats and had been servicing marine engines and custom one-off power plants. We've been working with the Banks Marine Kits for 34 years now. When they come in for service, we often swap the Ray J turbos with Garrett 60-1 turbos. That's if we update them. Otherwise, we have some old Ray J's here if they can't be reconditioned. We also have some of the old inner coolers too. We also make a port injection manifold as part of our recondition and updating. Now we can play with trimming cylinders, timing, and we can tweak coils. We can even take old carburetors off and replace them with Holly snipers, which actually work really well. We have the maps for those. And with all the updates, we've made 13 to 1400 horsepower with the bigger turbos and port injection. Hats off to Alexi and his team at Boost Power for keeping these Gale Banks marine engines racing and in tip top shape. Jim Haller was working a nine to five gig. In his spare time, he was doing construction and building hot rods. But when the company he worked for had financial woes back in the eighties, he decided to get a little building and work for himself. 
ease out of the office. Jim opened his first shop, Haller's Repair, in March of 1983 in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And within three years, he had outgrown that location. So in 1992, he moved into a 6,000 square foot building, and then in 96, he took over the entire property. Growing even more in 2004, Jim bought the adjacent property, repurposing, adding even more lifts and dynos in the process, becoming the powerhouse repair facility in Cheyenne. Located at the crossroads, Interstate 25 and I-80, Jim's place is conveniently located with a ton of truck and motorhome traffic coming and going. Hallers has all the equipment, diagnostic tools, and know-how to service virtually anything on wheels. Hallers maintains fleets, buses, military vehicles, and builds big horsepower trucks that have won events including Diesel Power Challenge. Hallers has also been a bank's dealer since 85. The shop has a great reputation and customers tend to make vacation plans around repairing their motorhomes. Once Jim's done with a vehicle, the customer can hit the road with confidence, be it a motorhome, car, or truck. But words of the wise, call ahead because regardless of the size of Haller's Repair Shop, the Cheyenne spot stays pretty darn busy. So how do you design a rear differential cover for an 89 Ram truck with a Dana 80 axle? You track down a Ram, lift it in the air, and 3D scan it. I have to be honest, this happened a few weeks ago, and here's what the Dana 80 cover looks like when you print it in plastic. This design passed our battery of tests and is now going into production. Currently available is our Ram Air differential cover for the 14 bolt American axle, which comes in the 01 to 19 GM 25 and 3500s and 03 to 18 Ram trucks. And attention shoppers, we're now accepting pre-orders for the Ford Sterling axle, which fits 89 to 19 Ford F-250s and 350s and some F-150s with certain tow packages. The Sterling cover has the same patented Ram Air scoops, which direct cool air from under the truck up and through the long thin fins. You'll find an angled fill port with magnetic fill plug, a sight glass with contrast screen so you can see the oil even if it's clear, a sensor port, a magnetic drain plug, and a Viton O-ring seal so you don't have to screw with that messy silicone. You can even add Amsoil 75W140 to your order so you'll have everything that you need. And it's available for pre-order at bankspower.com. Stay glued to our Facebook and Instagram feeds and be sure to subscribe to the Banks Power and Banks Insider YouTube channels to keep up on the latest goings on here at Banks. We're here and we've been pumping out performance for over 60 years.